Hello, uh, I'm Drew Reese. You may or may not have heard of me in conjunction with Z-Man. Uh, I was a good friend of Nate Cady, or ha have been for the last 50 years. And ever since I waded into a stream uh, and started catching trout on two and four pound test line, and then catch bass later that year when I was 13 years old, I had been using light spinning tackle. And that light spinning tackle led me all the way to fishing the BSS tournaments. And I was about the only guy that fished light spinning tackle. Finished in the money in all but one of the tournaments I fished in. Qualified for the first classic and took seventh in the first classic. When I was 49, I took the severance package. I've been coming to Canada and spending the summer ever since then. I'm 76 now. So I've had a lot of time up here and a lot of time to fish for smallmouth. Average catching probably about 3,000 smallmouth a year. So if you figure that over 20 years, that's a lot of smallmouth, plus all the walleyes and northerns and the rest of it. And what I'd like to tell you about it's what I believe is one of the two greatest innovations for light spinning for big fish that have come along. The first one was Fireline. Uh, when we went from monofilament to braid, it changed fishing light tackle so dramatically because you can now get the hook set much more convincingly and fish smaller diameter line with your spinning line. The second thing that happened I broke one of the two rods that I'd used forever and I went and tried to find a rod that was comparable. I've always used five foot four and five foot ten rods. I couldn't find them. I didn't realize that no one made a medium light, I guess would be the way they call it now. What we always called it, or the original one, was called the stinger. It had a stiff butt and a limber sensitive tip so that you could pull the hook into a big fish but the sensitivity to feel the strike. And that was designed by Ray Fink. Gary Loomis flew him to Washington in 1980 and the night 2064 Loomis rod became a staple for people that like to fish light tackle. Loomis sold out, there no longer were blanks available I couldn't find a duplicate to my rod. After two years of hard work, we finally found the answer to not being able to find the rods that we needed. The determination of sensitivity is all by weight. This rod, real, everything as you're looking at it, perfectly balanced, weighs a grand total of 7.6 ounces. There have been four field testers been using this beside myself. One of them is Ned Cady. He's put away all of his old rods. This is all he fishes with. One is Bill Ward, who fished seven classes. One of them is a guide up here on Lake of the Woods, and the other one was a resort on it. Here are the features of the rod that make it so unique and different. Number one, if you notice, the reel is taped to the handle. It cuts down on weight, which increases sensitivity, but what it does more, more importantly, you actually get flex all the way into your hand. So you can feel a strike, a fish when you're fighting it, makes it lighter, very comfortable to fish with. That's the reason a lot of did, you know, use that sort of the Tennessee handle. They've been around since Billy Westmoreland in the 70s. And he, by the way, was another terrific smallmouth light line fisherman. The next feature of it is these guys, they're a stainless steel ring. They don't ever wear out and they don't weigh anything. The third thing in the rod, the sensitivity, everybody says, oh, to quote Ned, he said, for the first time in my life, not only do I feel the weeds when I'm fishing around them, I also can tell what kind of weeds they are by the sensitivity of the rock. If you were into the Ned rig, just the TRD, the tickler, a hula stick, and the shroom Z head, if you like those baits, 
This is the ultimate rod for fishing and entry.